Honda had unveiled a second version of the prototype of what used to be called a Honda Urban EV, a cute little bug right here, and uh, now they're calling it a Honda E prototype, but they will be unveiling uh, the full production version uh, in a few weeks at the Geneva Auto Show. So let me tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you can join our community and that way you won't miss anything moving forward. All right, cute little thing right here. I, you know, I like the first version. Uh, the second version, I would say just as um, cute. I, I mean, I, I personally, not for me. I don't, I don't see myself driving it, but I see a lot of other people uh, driving it, and I, I, I think it, it, it fits a lot of, you know, kind of the same type of personality that would uh, uh, drive a Volkswagen E Golf or Volkswagen Bug. So I think, I think there's a big demand for this. So and you know, design, you know, it's not your typical design, right? And usually I would be completely against it because I was like, well, you know, let's not make electric cars, you know, scream, oh look at me, I'm a weird electric car, right? But in this case, um, I'm actually kind of digging it. So I, I, I definitely like it. And uh, it's pretty cool inside. Um, the, uh, the dashboard kind of reminds me of uh, Byton's uh, dashboard, uh, which is um, here. You can see it right here. Um, let me um, make it full screen. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely innovative. Um, also, um, let me just go over some specs, uh, but before that, let me also uh, point out some of the interesting details as well. Um, camera mirrors. Um, you know, as as you know, I just went to uh, Marbella, Spain, where I test drove e-tron, and that's where I actually have a separate video on that. I kind of talked about the side mirrors, uh, and I believe this is a monitor for the side mirror feed will be shown on, and I like it much better than Audi's, right? So this is this is their um, outside mirror, which is kind of sticking out a little too much, kind of a, I just didn't like the design of that, and the monitors there are sort of a, uh, below the uh, the plane of your view, so I'm kind of digging the one from um, uh, from uh, Honda. I think this is their they've done a better job. So um, and the um, the dashboard is just like I said. I, I I think this is this is this is the winner as far as the design for a small car is concerned. Um, so let's talk about some specs. A hundred miles in range. At least the EPA rating uh, looks like it will come up to a hundred mile range. We'll talk about it in a second. Uh, Panasonic batteries. So as you know, Panasonic is uh, the supplier for Tesla batteries. Um, so good solid supplier. And I know they have a contract with Honda. Um, you can charge this car to 80% in 30 minutes. And I believe it will probably have CCS charger. I'm just kind of guessing just, just because that's the technology that's needed for that. And they're starting production by the end of this year and it will start in Europe. I, they did not really enclose the, the plans to go for the rest of the world. So I'm not even sure if this production is going to reach United States. They didn't really say how many of them they're going to make, but I'm sure all of that information is coming. Uh, now let's talk about some positives and negatives. Before that, of course, I want to remind you guys that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There's a discount code in the description of this video, so you can go ahead and grab it and save yourselves a few bucks. All right, so let's talk about some positives and negatives. All right, well, obviously the positive is, as always, a, a brand new electric car in the market. That's always good. Um, you know, competition, uh, more choices, more publicity, that's granted. Um, secondly, you know, this is the first all electric car technically from Honda. I know they have kind of a Clarity Electric, but it's really a, kind of an odd and also plug-in hybrid version. They're not really advertising or publicizing it. As a matter of fact, I have to say that I just found out that they have an electric version. I thought there was pretty much plug-in hybrid, it's under 100 miles. So uh, I would say as far as, you know, a, a, a car they're proud of, I would say, um, though I have seen Clarity com commercials before for the plug-in hybrid, um, this would be uh, the first one. At least this is the first time I feel like Honda wants to be in the game, right? So welcome Honda to uh, the electric car universe. Now let's talk about some negatives. And I think, you know, obviously here, the biggest uh, disappointment um, is the fact it's got a hundred mile range. It is just not, I know it's an urban car and all that stuff, but you know, 
I we cannot take any car series that has less than 200 miles. There are like some exceptions, you know, especially if the price is tiny. Like you know, in 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 the case of uh, uh, Nissan Leaf. Um, you know, 151 uh, mile version is under 30,000 uh, plus the incentive. So it's relatively affordable. But however, I was told that, and at least the expectation is that the price on this one is not going to be an affordable car, you know, after, you know, under 20 or 30,000, it, it, it will, it will cost some money. It will be kind of a toy car almost. So for that type of money, a hundred mile um, a range, I think is just unacceptable. Let me know in the comment section. I'm kind of interested in hearing what you guys have to say about this. And of course, um, you know, the, the price tag, if it really is going to be not in a very affordable type of the category, then I'm not really sure if, if there's going to be demand, okay? If people have to pay more than 30, 35,000, I believe at this point, you know, this is the price of the starting price of the BMW 3 Series. You know, the car needs to look pretty up there as far as design is concerned. Um, so, or have an amazing tech and range. I don't think this car has either. I'm not really sure if they'd be able to get too much, too much demand for um, uh, this car, you know, uh, in, in that price range with the slogan, with the stats. Uh, but listen, that definitely let me know in the comment section because I think this is all about the uh, demand for, for these cars. Uh, by the way, let me give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Sean Morton. Thank you so much for uh, joining my Patreon community. That's where you can watch me live. That's where you can support uh, this show. So if you'd like to contribute, go ahead and browse to the description of this video where you can find a link to my Patreon community where you can join. All right. I am looking forward to your comments. I'm kind of 50-50 on this one as far as what the marketability of this car is going to be concerned. So let me know. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.